What's up YouTube, it's Little with Techaholics, back at the game with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you 3DS games on the Android, so let's get it in. Alright, so first things first is you're going to want an Android device that can run these emulators. And just to let you know, I do have an S9 Plus. If you haven't seen my previous videos, then that's all that I really use in my videos. So that's what you would have to be taking this with like a grain of salt is because I don't have the newest device out. But then again, it kind of is an older device. So it should give you a, a range of what you should or what you can be able to play this on. So another thing too is that I do have a Galaxy Tab S5e that I tried this emulator on and it does run very smoothly or it does run very well. So make sure that you note that too. And um, another thing is, is this video is going to be just strictly playing the emulator and showing that it works. I'm going to make another video on how to get all this stuff to work. So definitely keep an eye out for that. So let me go ahead and let me show you some gameplay.
as you can tell, most of the games, they may have lagged a little bit. Touch controls are horrible. I don't ever recommend touch controls and that's the reason why. But you can hook up a external controller to this, like your Xbox controller, Voga controller, anything like that, and actually be able to use that for the games. So that's a huge plus on the on that part. And as you can tell, you can actually use the touch screen of your phone to work the touch screen of the emulator, which that's a huge plus too. And um, if you've seen that the screens were kind of like different sizes, actually. Um, we'll show you in the next video whenever I'm actually breaking everything down about this You know and then how to get the games and all that stuff to work with the emulator um, I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to do that just in case if you want to tweak it a little bit You can be able to make it to where you know you have a bigger screen and then a smaller screen You can do a lot with this application But since that this is just to show you that it actually works and not how to get it to work then that's why you're seeing that right now but anyways if you have any questions or any comments go ahead and leave it down in the comment selection and as always thanks for watching like and subscribe